So today I'm playing a Game Boy Color game called Infinity. This game was actually being developed around 20 years ago by a company called The Phoenix towards the end of the Game Boy Color's life. And because the Game Boy Advance was coming out soon, the game eventually got cancelled. It's now being finished with part of the original team that developed the game and published by Incubate Games. These guys specialize in making retro games for retro systems. They sent me over the demo for the game and I'm really impressed. It's very much an old school traditional RPG, but I gotta say I've really enjoyed playing it and digging into the demo. They should probably just give it to Kickstarter backers. It's around two and a half, three hours long, and it's a great showcase for the game. The story is that you play as a former knight called Connor, who was stripped of his rank by his king and whose wife died of a disease. The king of Celeron sends him on a mission to try and make peace with their enemy nation, the Eleuthans. And from there, Connor has to embark on a dangerous journey. The story may sound pretty simplistic, but it's actually really well done. The dialogue is really interesting and the characters really well fleshed out. I was surprised at how much it gripped me and I really want to finish the game when it eventually comes out. In terms of the gameplay, it's a turn-based RPG. You walk around the world and you'll have random encounters which are triggered automatically. You can attack enemies, you can use magic and you also have new party members to acquire. One thing that sets it apart from some of the other turn-based RPGs is that placement is also important. You can attack enemies with magic anywhere on the screen, but you can move forwards and backwards to maneuver yourself to attack enemies better. This added a new layer to the game and meant you have to think a little bit more about your moves rather than just hitting attack all the time. When I first started playing, I did find it really difficult. Connor is pretty underpowered at the beginning of the game, but after some grinding, it did make the game much more manageable and enemies were dying much easier. I wasn't planning to do too much grinding, but I ended up doing it because it's very easy to get lost in the world. Very early on, there's a cave which I went into, which I didn't actually need to enter, and I ended up getting stuck there because I couldn't figure out where to go. It turned out I didn't even need to be in that cave. But after spending time there and killing enemies, I'd leveled up a couple of times and I was much more powerful. It also helps, of course, when you acquire new teammates, since you'll also be using them to attack enemies. I really love the old school graphics and the music is really good too. So this game currently has a Kickstarter running for it to finish the game. And it's already got around 14 times the original requested amount. So it's definitely going to get funded and it'll definitely happen. I'm personally going to be backing it for the ROM version only, which is $12. I would have loved to have had the physical version, but $90 just seems a little bit too much for a G Game Boy Color cart. Still, I think this is a really good game, guys. And just based on this demo, it really shows a lot of promise. If you like old school RPGs, it's something worth checking out. This isn't a sponsored video or anything, but I just really like the game and wanted to highlight it. Let me know in the comments, guys. Are you planning to back Infinity? And if you're a fan of old school RPGs, what's your favorite? Leave a comment below, and as always, thanks for watching.